Have you noticed how often politicians, when they want you to agree with something, will say, this is the right thing to do? Now, in English law, we used to have the petition of right enshrined in law as fiat justitia, um, a fabulous Latin phrase, which means let right be done. In other words, regardless of the law, which some say can be an ass, there must nevertheless be a means for justice. Uh, it's, a, it's a notion explored in, uh, in Terence Rattigan's play The Winslow Boy, which is based on, a, on the true story of a 12-year-old boy expelled from his naval college for alleged theft. And if you haven't seen it, please do look out for it. It's a, it's a gripping story of a father determined to seek justice for his son. Now, a year or so ago, I decided to, on purpose to drive through a red light. Well, girls and boys, did I do anything wrong? Your headmaster drove on purpose through a red light. Perhaps discuss that with your parents and see what they say. Of course, countries have rules. We call them laws, and most people will do OK if they just follow the rules. And, uh, and some people do indeed live like this. What's the rule? Listen and follow it. But life is perhaps more nuanced than this. The dreadful fire at Grenfell Tower uh, happened just over three years ago, June 2017. The, it, uh, it, was, it is the worst residential fire uh, in the UK since the Second World War. Over 70 people died in that fire, innocent men, women and children. Now, the rule in Grenfell Tower was in the event of a fire to stay put, to stay in your flat and wait for rescue. And there were even signs to this effect uh, in the stairwell telling residents to stay in their flats. That was the rule. Now, investigations and inquiries have shown that the rule was misguided and that residents should have been asked to make their way down the stairwell and out of the block of flats. And probably you've all had situations where you've had to ask yourself, what is the right thing to do? Now, our competency in moral thinking tends to develop over time and arguably becomes highly developed in individuals such as moral philosophers and thinkers uh, who devote time to this subject. Do you remember when you were little in reception and your friends had no qualms about grassing you up to the teacher? Um, I think I was four when I accidentally knocked some water over the teacher's desk and uh, when the teacher came in she said, who's poured water all over my work? <laughs> I was appalled to find 15 fingers all pointing at me. He did it, miss. Well, this tends to be how small children think. Supreme authority emanates from the teacher and thus the teacher is always to be obeyed. Uh, one can even say there's a, there's a generalised social norm of obedience to authority um, and, and perhaps later a sense of doing one's duty. And my friends, who all pointed their fingers at me, undoubtedly felt they were doing the right thing. But gradually, our thinking tends to develop over time uh, as we gain in experience. Uh, we recognise that laws and rules are important, but to be fair... There's that phrase, let right be done. There are times when they must be changed or ignored. Um, as in the case, for example, in Alabama in 1955, when Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat to a white passenger. Uh, for there are times, uh, perhaps as we've seen recently, when people assume personal responsibility for their actions based on what, they, what may be considered universal um, ethical and, and moral principles, um, which are not necessarily laid down by society. At many, many open days, uh, I have spoken to prospective families uh, and parents at Hampton Court House. And often I've made the point that at Hampton Court House, we're not a great believer in rules per se, but rather believers in a set of human values. And it is those values of decency, consideration for others, and contribution to society. It is those values that should drive our behaviour and our decision making. 
Oh, and, and that story about driving through the red light, but it's simple, really. I was stationary. Uh, the light was red. The ambulance was approaching quickly from behind with a siren and, and blue flashing lights, and I, I was blocking the way. The road was blocked on the other side. Carefully and gingerly, I pulled out, and seeing that there was nothing coming, I made my way carefully through the lights and allowed the ambulance to pass. And so, yes, I chose to go through the red light. But girls and boys, did I do anything wrong? Have a good day, everyone.